back in business. Hey guys, Fifi Vic here with Tramp to Trump episode 10. We are back in business, as I said in the intro. We are cracking on now. We are back with the internet, which means I can start recording these again. And this is the first one back. Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, not out completely out of my hands, as I have said in uh, the footage. I was carried on with my positional trading um, while we were gone, carried on at work on the web app and uh, did a few more of those position cards. We're up to 88,000 now. That position cards thing, guys, is just <laughs> insanely easy money. So easy to think about. Um, and picking up another silver Liga Portuguesa player, um, as we do, picking up Iturbi, one of the more famous ones, uh, 8k I think he was, very expensive, but he's very pacey, and uh, he scores a good goal in this episode coming up actually, guys. Um, so yes, I strongly recommend that positional card trading method that I showed you in the last video. Got a new trading method for you in this one. Um, I say new, it's as old as dishwater, guys, but... Uh, you know, if you haven't heard it, it's a good tip. If you forgot about it, it's a good reminder. And uh, like a lot of these tips, guys, it is easy coins if you're willing to make some money and put some effort in to make that money. Um, I did um, a FIFA 14 squad builder video, guys, and it did not go down well, you guys. Um, I think um, I made a few mistakes in it. <laughs> um, it's very difficult predicting the transfer market. It's such an unpredictable thing. Um, I obviously designed it, you know, while I still had the internet and all that stuff. And uh, Harry Redknapp was on the radio telling us all about his new signing, um, Gary Hooper. Not Kyle Hooper, not Carl Hooper. Carl Hooper was a cricketer from the 90s, if anyone's old enough to remember that. But, um, yeah, uh, Kyle Hooper doesn't exist at all in the world, I've checked. Um, but Gary Hooper is who I meant, and Harry Redknapp was on the radio talking about Gary Hooper as a new signing. And then 24 hours later, he'd actually signed for Norwich instead. Um, so that is why I made that mistake. Apologies for that. Um, this is the trading method, guys. The price of Johnson in a 5-2-2-1 right wing back is 1,900 coins. The price of him in a right back position in a 5-2-2-1 formation is 700 coins. The price of uh, right back to right wing back, guys, if you shop around well, is 200 coins. So <laughs> it does not take a genius to work out that buying a player, fixing his position, will ultimately uh, gain you some easy money. And that is what I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you, obviously, again, picking up the positional cards. Um, I was shopping at a really terrible time to shop for position cards, right in the middle of the... Uh, peak time but um, but I still managed to get the card that I wanted here as you can see for 300 coins uh, picked up Johnson for 700 coins so that's a thousand coins sold him for 1900 coins guys that is a massive profit and don't forget Johnson's not even that popular a player he's not even that expensive a player if you scale this up to the bigger players it's easy money guys absolutely easy money and you can just tick away at this just keep picking up these players one by one um, and yeah I mean it's totally understandable as well if you think about it you can't be bothered if you're building a squad you've got a really good idea for a squad and you just want to get it and get playing with it you don't want to want to be messing around all this so you're providing a valuable service um, as you can see sticking him up 1800 to make him the cheapest on the market we will play one game, guys, and I guarantee you, because this is pre-recorded footage, that he will have sold when we come back from uh, this match that we're about to play. Mixing up my golds and silvers, I suppose I could lean towards making a silver team and getting in the silver cup, but we are still only in Division 3 at this point. You know, we've nearly got 100k in the bank. Uh, by the start of the next episode, when I show you this method in full, like, show me using it for a couple of days and uh, my full trade pile um, you know we'll be up to 100k and we'll still be in division 3 you know so these trading methods they really do work guys I'm throwing them out there for if you're interested and if you're thinking I don't need coins now I've got loads of coins or um, it's too late in the day to be worrying about trading and putting effort into FIFA 13 the majority of these methods will work again they'll work again in FIFA 14 in one way or the, or the other it's more about getting yourself in the mindset of trading, you know, these methods. You've got to look for little loopholes in the market. 
If you're the first to find a method, obviously this method is tried and tested. It is, you know, an old, old method. But if you're the first to try these methods, um, then you can clean up for a couple of months while everyone else figures it out, you know. Unless you're like me and you stick it up on YouTube for everyone to see. Um, but like I say, these methods are tried and tested. But this series was just designed to be like the home of a lot of these methods. Um, should I start a new? Should I build a new squad? Wham! Look at that strike! Twat! Look at that strike from Andre Martins. Uh, that is that silver centre mid that I keep raving about, guys. Um, absolutely beast player. Um, Iturbe showing his skill. Look at that little bridge bit of skill there, and side footing that into the net. Um, he looks quality, guys. Really enjoying playing with him. So nippy. Um, but should I buy a new squad? Should I swap squads? Have we exhausted Liga Portuguesa? Or should I keep going? Should I build a full Liga Portuguesa team and then go in the Silver Cup? Or uh, or are you not really enjoying the game playing aspect of this? Are you more about the trading methods? Or are you more about the footage? I think that's part of the problem with this series. It's a bit of a mix of the two. But um, we get the draw in that game. We just need two more points to win the title in that division. We've got three games to get two points. And as you can see, guys, as I predicted, Johnson literally sold straight during that match. So within 10 minutes, he'd sold. Easy money, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been FIFA Vic. Bye-bye.